Well, finally, guys, it's time to get to our grand finale. And it is a deep honor for me to present this game. What you're about to see is a world premiere trailer that gives us a new look at an expansive world we can't wait to explore again. This game comes from a studio that surprised the world and redefined the RPG genre with its iconic characters and rich storytelling. And I want to thank them for this trailer for one of gaming's most anticipated upcoming releases. The rumors were true. What's the biz, everybody? It's your boy, Baker Maker, a.k.a. D. Ensley, and I'm here to give you some true shit. Damn, it feels good to uh, say that again. I've um I've actually been been sitting on on making this video for weeks ever since the the 2023 Summer Game Fest trying to put together my thoughts on everything that happened in terms of the Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth trailer and all the stuff involving it. So each day, 7 to be exact, leading up to the uh Summer Game Game Fest there were these cryptic tweets from the Final Fantasy VII Twitter account. Uh, developer comments from, from members of the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth team. The, two, the tweets are all in a Q&A style format. And most of the questions have been fairly innocuous things like, Will FF7 Rebirth have original music? And has the battle system changed from FF7 uh, remake. Thanks to some clever uh, internet sleuthing, eager uh, Final Fantasy fans were quickly realizing that there were, that there is a lot more to these comments than meets the eye. And this led many to speculate that on the seventh day, which just so happens to be the same day uh, the Summer Game Fest would be streaming, that we'd, we'd either be receiving a, a new trailer or at least some major news involving FF7 Rebirth. I remember seeing tons of FF7 uh, YouTube content creators talking about it, and I wanted to get on get in on the fun as well by talking about it too, but I did, didn't want to get my hopes up for potentially nothing. I remember on the day I was watching the stream, contemplating if I should uh, even live stream just in case we do get something big related to, to Rebirth. I ended up not doing it because I, I was actually in the middle of doing other things at the time, but I kept ch checking in on the show just in case. And midway in the in the show, we did get something F07 related, but it was just a trailer for the FF7 mobile game Ever Crisis. Don't get me wrong, I'm I'm excited for Ever Crisis, but not on the same level as I am hyped for Rebirth. And uh, right after that trailer, the host for the uh, for the Game Fest did something very cheeky. Pre-registration for Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis has just started and users will have the chance to participate in an upcoming closed beta test. Now, speaking of Final Fantasy... No, 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 no. Today, during Summer Game Fest, DoorDash has your back. You, get a free, you can get a free burrito when you order from Taco Bell using the code GAMEFEST. Plus, get the chance to win a Final Fantasy 16 prize pack. DoorDash, stay in your game. Yep, we got you. All right. Now I remember going on several Twitch streamer streamers channels to see their uh, reaction to that moment. Some of them like me were just just laughed, but there were some who were legitimately upset with the dude for baiting them like that. Now speaking of Final Fantasy No 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 today during Summer Game Fest DoorDash has your back. Get Are you kidding me? You can get a free what is Taco Bell using the code GameFest. Plus, get the chance to win a Final Fantasy 16 prize pack. DoorDash, stay in your game. Yep, we got you. All right. Now, here's a look at the game we debuted last year at TGA. Banishers, Ghosts of New Eden. The story of two ghosts. We're never getting Rebirth. Wilds. We're never and getting Rebirth. Rebirth. Holy fucking shit. Let's see. Fuck you. No, 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 no. Today during Summer Game Fest, DoorDash has your back. Get a free burrito when you order from Taco Bell using the code GAMEFEST. Plus, get the chance to win a Final 
Final Fantasy 16 <laughs> yeah. comes back. DoorDash, stay in your game. Yeah, we got you. All right. Not now, enough. here's a look at the game we did you last year at TGA. <laughs> Managers, Ghosts of New Eden. That was amazing. Two in the Hodgin Wilds. <laughs> that was amazing. Audience is like, <laughs> just like, chill out. <laughs> it's a DoorDash ad. <laughs> All right, I got to give him credit for that. That was funny. <laughs> that shit was funny. <laughs> Now, speaking of Final Fantasy. No, no, no. Uh -oh. Today, during Summer Game Fest, Dash has your back. Get it? You can get it. What? Uh, Jeff! Uh, you troll. Jeff! Plus, get the chance to win a Final Fantasy 16. My heart is back. pounding, Jeff. Dash, stay in your game. Yep, we got you. All right. Now, here's a look at the game we debuted last yeah. year at TGA. <laughs> I don't know. Jeff, that's messed up, man. That's no, funny. no, no, no. We're going to see it. Though. Oh, trust me. I thought it would have made sense to play it right after the Ever Crisis, but maybe this is smarter. I even read uh, some comments saying that it was done in bad taste and that they said uh, they're leaving the stream just for that. What if, what if Final Fantasy VII, what if their whole Twitter thing that they were doing was all because of Ever Crisis and their new banner is Ever Crisis? on twitter and we all clowned ourselves so hard and look if that was all we got of final fantasy doing that uh doing the show then yeah i understand people being upset about it but at the but at that moment i kind of had a feeling they they were saving rebirth for last and and jeff the host wanted to have a little fun with the audience because he knew what was up he he and a bunch of other people involved in the show must have heard all the gossip that was going on and knew that it, it was indeed happening anyways. Otherwise, he wouldn't have done what he did, what he did, which is why Jeff um, said at the end, right b uh, before revealing the last trail of the show. Come on. Rumors. It has to be. The rumors were true. They also knew they would have probably pissed off some people and hoping that that stunt that made some think it wasn't going to happen, only to surprise them at the end, which is exactly what happened. And I want to applaud uh, Jeff for that little stunt he pulled earlier that day, because look, I know he, he had he had got a uh, he must have had got a lot of uh, shit for for it at the time. From many viewers at the, uh, of the stream, but looking back at it, it was pretty pretty clever because it definitely made some people second guess themselves whether or not we'd be uh, getting any uh, rebirth news or not, and all we were getting was a freaking mobile game. Damn! So no rebirth, but ever crisis. Uh, but for the the trailer itself, it was great. For those of you who aren't caught up with on the situation yet, Rebirth serves as part two in the remake uh, trilogy. It picks up from where the first installment left off in 2020. We now know we will be getting uh, teamwork attacks, which is one of the things I wanted the most in terms of gameplay. Unfortunately, the debate of whether we're dealing with one timeline or multiple timelines continues. I honestly, I'm honestly open to the idea of either one. So I don't necessarily have a bias towards either one of them. At the end of the day, guys, we, we won't have a clear idea until Rebirth comes out. Until then, or if, a, uh, or if any of the developers give us a clear cut answer on the matter. It's just, un uh, like I said, until then, it's just speculation. This was an awesome trailer with a lot of shock value used in this trailer to, to get us invested in playing this game. And it definitely worked. Why is Tifa, Aerith, Barrett, and, and Red 13 on stretchers? Are they different versions? Are they really dead? Is this just another Shinra propaganda? Does this explain the, sh the, the Zack uh, cutscene in the intermission DLC? Why was Cloud not with him? Less than a minute within the trailer, and we're already presented with so many damn mysteries. I believe Sephiroth, much like what he did in the OG game, is gaslighting Cloud. 
Sephiroth is trying to trick Cloud, i.e. us, uh, the, the players, into thinking he, Sephiroth, killed Tifa during the Nibelheim incident. And what and that we're we're dealing with a a, a Genova j j disguised as Tifa or at least an imposter. Otherwise, I don't think Square would would have revealed such a huge plot point like that in a trailer. It's it's just too easy. One of the one of the themes for for the nineteen ninety seven game were dealing with lies and deception. It was uncovering certain mysteries, and the devs have come up with new ones. For the for the re uh, in remake for not only newcomers but but for longtime fans of the OG game as well. At the end of my Crisis Core reunion review, I I had brought on the question as to why Square would decide to spoil some of the some of the biggest plot points of the OG FF Seven um, by by releasing its prequel prior to FF Seven Rebirth. I came to the realization that we might be getting a lot of the same story beats as, uh, as the 1997 PS1 video game, such as going to Cosmo Cannon and meeting Sid at the Rocket Town, but plot points like the truth behind the Nibelheim incident or Cloud not re really being a former Shinra member won't be plot twisters anymore. Again, the devs are probably coming up with new plot twist for this remake trilogy they're working on. The crux of FF7 will remain the same. A uh, FF7 uh, YouTuber known as Subtext went into greater detail on this topic in his video literally titled Why Final Fantasy VII Remake is Spoiling Its Biggest Plot Twist. And he, and he just uploaded a, a video analyzing the Rebirth trailer. I highly recommend checking, uh, checking both of these, the, his uh, videos out. If what the theories are true, that we're dealing with a Sephiroth who is either from the OG timeline or is simply a Sephiroth with knowledge of events from the OG timeline, then it makes sense for this Sephiroth to want to wanna cause some friction between Tifa and Cloud. After all, it was Tifa who helped repair Cloud's mind and helped him rebuild the, rebuild the, the confidence he needed to defeat Sephiroth in the OG game. So of course Sephiroth wants to make sure Cloud doesn't trust Tifa this time, and without that trust, she won't be able to fix him like she did in the 1997 game. So the scary thing is that Sephiroth's primary target might indeed be Tifa after all. Either either he takes her out of the equation equation himself, or he get he gets Cloud to do it. Honestly, I have a lot of thoughts to share involving that. But I'll save it for later. As for the for the whole two disc thing, some some people like the Night Sky Prince have said that this might not be as big of a deal as a lot of people are making it, noting that technically remake had two disc as well, but the but one of the disc just served as an installation and nothing more, and this could be the same with Rebirth. Well, regardless of that of. If, if that's the case or not, or if the game's so much, so big, so that we'll need to actually slip in t disc two to continue the game, like you like you would for the nineteen ninety seven PS one game, we already know that this is gonna be a beefy game due to the clues and info we've gotten so, gotten uh so far. We know they're splitting this into into a trilogy, so that means the most likely scenario this game could end is either the part Tifa, I mean, uh, Aerith is supposed to die, or the part Cloud is supposed to give Sephiroth the Black Materia, and Sephiroth goes through a rebirth, see what I did there, and summon Meteor, which wakens the planet's guardians, the weapons, then Tifa and Barret are in Shinra's uh, custody while Cloud's whereabouts are uh, unknown. I'd be fine with either scenario being the conclusion of part two, but honestly, the latter definitely seems to seem to be the one that makes the most sense. Of course, either scenario will undoubtedly include new twists and turns of some sorts. Regardless, this is a this is the game I'm the most hyped for. 
at the moment. Yes, I'm even more hyped for this than I am for Kingdom Hearts 4. And some of y'all who have known me for a long time know how much of a huge Kingdom Hearts fan I am. And this is coming from someone who loved KH3, but it's just that I loved the FF7 remake even more. So, um, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Did you enjoy the uh, enjoy the the trailer? Are you hyped for uh, for 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 rebirth? Do you uh, are you one of or are you one of those who are not so uh, hyped for it and have your um, have your um, worries? Uh, comment below. Let me know to, to let me know your theories. Uh, and you know, now if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos like these, and most importantly, hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I do post these videos. And now, with that said, stay beast. Now, speaking of Final Fantasy, oh, 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 nigga, oh, nigga, nigga, no, I can't do this, nigga. That wasn't even nice. That was fucked that up. That was so mean. That was so mean, bro. Speaking that of Final so Fantasy, uh, bro, my dick was hard. My dick was hard, brother.